Hello friends, so uh, we have seen two relations so far uh, using trigonometric ratios. Now in this session we are going to discuss the third one. So before we go to the third one, let's recap what we have learned so far. We have learned so far that one is this sine square theta plus cos square theta is equal to one irrespective of the value of theta. This is true. This is true. This is uh, valid for uh, every value of theta. Hence, it is called a trigonometric identity as well. Now, uh, and secondly, we learned that cosecant square theta is equal to 1 plus cot square theta. These are the two relations we have learned. Now, we are going to deal with the third one here. Now, in the last two cases, uh, we divided this equation obtained by Pythagoras theorem by first h square and then p square, correct? This we have already discussed. Now what we are going to do is, we are going to divide, dividing equation 1, equation 1 by b square now, okay? So what will we get? We will get h square by b square is equal to p square by b square plus b square by b square, isn't it? This is doable. Now this implies h upon b whole squared is equal to p upon b whole squared plus 1, right? Now look at this triangle ABC where this is hypotenuse, this is base and this is perpendicular. Now if you see h by b, what is h by b here? h upon b is nothing but secant theta secant theta because it is 1 upon cos theta. Now what about p by b? So if you see p upon b here, p, this is p and this is p and this is b. p upon b is nothing but tan theta, tan theta, right? So we can replace or substitute them here. So h by b I can write as secant theta whole square is equal to tan theta whole squared plus 1. This is nothing but secant square theta is equal to tan square theta plus 1. This is another very important relationship. Now, again, as the other cases, we can express this relation into multiple forms. So I can write secant square theta minus tan square theta is equal to 1. This is one way of looking at it. Another way of looking at it is secant square theta minus 1 is equal to tan square theta. So this implies this is secant theta minus tan theta times secant theta plus tan theta is equal to 1. Because if you see this is a square minus b square form. So a square minus b square is a minus b a plus b. We know this. Similarly, the same uh, concept if you use here, you'll get secant theta minus 1 times secant theta plus 1 is equal to tan square theta. So keep these forms also in mind. These are very, very useful way of expressing the same relation into multiple ways. Now, these things are going to be very, very useful while proving trigonometric identities. So keep these relations in very much in your mind, okay?